AIs are all over the place these days and Photoshop is no exception. With Adobe Sensei, I'm going to show you how to use the Neural Filter Smart Portrait to fix a picture. Here's the situation. You've got a great shot of you and your baby, but the baby's looking in the opposite direction and the eyes are turned. I'm going to use Smart Portrait to move the baby's head and eyes so it's looking at the camera. And grab yourself some popcorn, because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to up your skills using the quick mask for your selections and clone stamping. Stick around. All right, here's the picture in question. Great picture of mom and the kid. I've already gotten rid of the JPEG compression. So let's make a stamp visible there and make it a smart object. Now let's go to filter, neural filters. We're going to go to smart portrait. As you can see, the AI has figured out there's two faces, one for the mom and one for the baby. So let's choose the baby and expand global. And let's make the head direction minus 30 and the light direction, minus 30. It'll process in the cloud, and bam, it's got the head turned for us. Now hit OK, and mission accomplished. Or is it? All right, so far so good. Mission accomplished, we've got the baby's head and eyes moved, but here comes the tough part. But before that, let's give our eyes just a bit of a rest here. I'd like to remind everybody to please like and subscribe, ring my bell for future videos. It's free, and it does help. Thanks, guys. Hit your Z key. Let's zoom in on the baby's neck. As you can see, the AI did move the head, but it left back some traces of other garbage here. So click on the layer mask. B for your brush tool. Make sure it flows about 20%. Now let's leave the baby's face alone, but let's color in back the clothing. Right up to the shoulder here neck and everything we can color it back in so as if it didn't move now if you over color a bit hit the x key change to white and color it back in let's fix this over here all right control zero to zoom out and it looks like we could be in the game but we're really not sometimes the ai doesn't get it right so let's level up our clone stamping today. We're going to use a quick mask as well to make our selections. The reason for this is we want to protect what's going on between the mom's head and the baby's head. So hit your Z key to zoom in. And there's a lot of garbage going on here. So let's hit R to rotate your canvas. Now hit Q for quick mask. B for brush. Make sure your flow is 100%. So let's color in what we want to protect. We want to protect the ear and such and a bit of his head let's do the same for the mom let's color in approximately where her hair would have been if the ai hadn't messed it up but that's not an issue all right hit q and your two selections have been made now if you have to revise the selections hit q again change to white with your x and just fix it a bit q all right okay let's make a new layer and call it repairs. As for your clone stamp tool, make sure the flow is about 20%. And let's just grab some stuff from outside here and clone stamp it in. Let's make your brush a little bit bigger. Alt, get your sample and start painting it in. Get your sample again. As you can see, the selections are blocking any spillage over and giving you clean lines. In between the two heads here to put whatever you wish once you think you're done i'm going to go around the ear a bit here hit r for rotate escape Control d to deselect and zoom out Control zero there now you fix that part there but we still have the problem with the mom's hair so make a new layer let's call it mom's hair and zoom in z key now, clone stamp tool, make your brush a little bit bigger. Make sure your flow is 100%. Choose a section of the hair right here with your Alt key. And just get a good sample of mom's hair. Very cool. Go up to edit, transform, flip horizontal. The V key to move it. Now, since it's on a separate layer, we can do anything we want to this. So Control T to transform. And let's kind of put it in place. 
where it would be with mom's hair here. Roughly about there. Hit the check mark, but we're not done. Hold your Alt key down and hit the layer. What it does is it inverts the layer mask. R to rotate the canvas, Z to zoom in. Now the cool thing about this is we only have to paint in what's messed up. So brush, 20%, make sure the color is white so we can put it back and just paint in what we need, nothing more. Our mom's hair. Now, reduce your flow to about 5%. Just go over it a bit to blend it in just a little bit more. R key to rotate, escape, and mom's hair is fixed. Control zero to zoom out. Okay, our picture is looking pretty good here. So what we'll do is we'll make a group out of the repairs. We'll call it repairs. We'll create a stamp visible layer, turn off the other layers, and you can tell on our picture before, after, before, after. Cool. Well, mission accomplished. We got the baby's head and eyes turned. We leveled up our skills and selections with quick mask and did some clone stamping. It's been a good day. Thanks for sticking it out, guys. I'm Don from 409 See you soon.